and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over the best investments to be making right now, Madden 20. Now, I haven't done this video and I'd have to say like maybe a month or two. I don't think I've made this video since like early September, maybe late August. This was like a video that was really popping towards the beginning of the year when like power-ups were a big thing. And obviously they're still a big thing, but less cards are coming out as frequently, obviously, like except for promos, like back in August and September, left and right, we were getting like people were, oh, this guy's a glitch, get this card. Oh, Mark Allen's that good, get this card. So power-ups are always fluctuating. Now it's like they're steady until a card comes, so. There's still some great opportunities though, especially right before promos. So you know promos will drop an influx of like 20 plus cards right at once. So we can expect that at least um, a large amount of people will be getting cards. Now, the way I went about going through these power-ups, I was looking at guys that deserve upgrades or guys that haven't even gotten upgrades. Some basically haven't gotten an upgrade, guys. So you know what that means? If a basically hasn't gotten an upgrade yet, they have to get one. Like they have to get one pretty soon. They will not go that long without giving a basically upgrade unless they get like arrested and they're never playing in the league again. But Luckily for you guys, these guys do not have that problem. Now guys, before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. You guys did not have to like all yesterday. But remember, I will be giving a secret message away within between this video or the next video. I told you guys in the first video. So at some point in this video or the next video, I will be giving you guys a secret message. All you gotta do is comment down below and comment your console. Guys, this is not a race, so do not skip ahead. It will be it. Just enjoy the video, and when you're ready, comment down below. Say your console next to it. That's all I gotta do. And guys, I know you guys already showed me how much you can like the video, so I expect nothing less. I expect all my videos to get 250, 300. You guys better kill it. You guys are helping the channel grow crazy, guys. I, I everything that's coming right now is thanks to you guys. So smash that like button, boys. I expect to refresh the video and see thousands of likes rolling in, like you guys have been doing. You guys are the best in the community. Thank you guys for that. And comment down below. If you're, don't forget your console and the secret code. So maybe it's this video, maybe it's the next. Who knows? So anyways, guys, back to the point. So going down to the guys that I'm thinking of. Now, one guy specifically, I don't know if he, this guy gets forgotten about in the community. Guys, how have we forgotten that this guy hasn't gotten a card? Now, he's not the most exciting card, right? He's not He's not something that you're going to be like, wow, he came out. But he has to get a card soon. I know there's plenty, there's plenty, plenty of Tom Brady fans, guys. Let's see what his power going for. Now, obviously, I don't like to buy him at the top price. I like to sit here and snipe him out a little bit. Right now, Tom Brady is 8K, guys. I'll actually scoop that one up. Tom Brady's AK. He hasn't gotten a card yet, right? He has to. I he has to get a card soon. He is one of the few base leads left in this game that have not actually gotten a card yet. So we'd have to assume that at this point he will be getting a card because he has no card. He's one of the few top base leads that don't have one. He's actually, I think, the only 88 that doesn't have one. That came from the initial set of Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. You know, and Bobby Wagner. So he's definitely due for a card pretty soon. Now, at 10K, I think he still could bounce up to like 20, 25, depending on his card. Now, I like him for around 5 to 8K, preferably, because then even if he only goes up to like 15, 17K, you can still make 7K per. So if you buy like 10 of them, that's still 70K. Remember, the beauty of power up investments are never the price in the middle, it's the quantity. See, if they go up, it's like stock, right? If you buy one Chipotle stock for $70, $70, right? And it goes up to $72. You only made two dollars right who cares if you bought a hundred stocks for 72 dollars for seven dollars and one 72 you make two hundred dollars it's all about quantity so if tom brady only goes up 7k you guys are like oh 7k i'm wasting my time no no but if you buy 10 tom brady's and he goes up 7k each after reduction you probably come away with like 63,000 coins that is when it works for the halloween promo i bought plenty of a few cards that i thought would get cards and they did and i made like 6k per and i had like 25 of those cards so I made quite a bit of coins, a little over 100,000 coins. So that's my point. You guys always got to invest in quantity. So like I said, don't overdo it with the 12, 13K ones. But if you can get one for like 8K, remember that 2K difference is the difference between what you'll make and what you won't make. Especially if you do it over the course of like 10 to 15 quantity types of these cards. Now, a few other guys. So a guy that I think will be getting a card soon also is probably Odell Beckham Jr. But the issue with Odell Beckham Jr. is that I think his card's kind of, kind of expensive. So 13K, okay, that's not horrible. 13K is not horrible for Odell. I'll actually be picking that one up. I think you will be getting a card pretty soon. So if I were you guys, pick up some of the Odell power-ups. And they are a little expensive. So like I said, you want to get them for around 10K. I wouldn't wait until 15K. Because again, 15K, if he only goes up to 25, 10K. If you wait till 10K, you could bring you could probably pull back after reduction like at least 10K minimum. I like to make around in the 6 to 10K range no matter what. So that and then even and remember, oh, here's a quick advice for you guys. Everyone's always like, they're texting me. Oh, Odell came out this morning. When should I sell him? 
it's like that Drake cover. If you're if you're if you're you know if you're asking, it's ready too late, guys. You sell them right when right when they get announced, and you see their price skyrocket. Sell them. The only reason you wouldn't want to sell them, right? There's one reason, and that's if they have a house rules that guarantees you these players. Because if there is, like Tyler Lockett, they will retain high value for a long period of time. But we cannot guarantee that because we do not. We simply don't know. We don't know. So like initially, if they announced it on Dell, he might go up to like 35k. You make 20k per each one. You have 10 of them. That's 250k right there. Take away reduction. 225k right there. That's that's awesome, guys. That's an awesome value. That is why I think Odell and Brady are some good bets. Now, a few other guys that haven't gotten cards yet, right? That are definitely due for cards. I have a few in my binder. I'm gonna show you guys some of the power up in my binder that I've been holding on to. Patrick Mahomes is going to be one of them. I have a few investments. I'm just gonna show you guys the ones I make because I know you guys probably care more about the ones I actually make. Now, I have quite a few, so don't don't judge me when you see my when you see my binder. But we come on down to the lower ones. So I have a bunch of Mutt 10 players. These were investments in case we got the Mutt 10 fantasy pack that these went up in value. And I think they quite, I think they did. They did initially. I didn't sell them. I wasn't on. I messed up on that one. But some guys that I recommend. Coming on down. Let's get to where mine. So Mahomes. Mahomes is one of them. Now Mahomes has to get a card soon. I don't think he'll get a Thanksgiving card. I, ha I don't know. I have this hunch that he'll get an LTD Thanksgiving card. He won't get the may he won't get one of the regular cards and if he is an ltd his investment won't pay through but hopefully they do not if they give him a regular card guys his mahomes power up will go up to about 60k 70k everyone wants patrick mahomes now if they give him an, try, tr listen to me if they give him an 82 speed an 82 speed plus on things in the things in promo or whatever this power up will go to 90k i can assure you of that because he will be the first quarterback that can have that level of throw power and stats combined with the skate artist he will literally be Andrew Luck's father in this game. So, if you can get this Mahomes power up from mid 20k, low 20k, scoop that up because he will go up to like 80 to 90k if he does get that escape artist card. Even if he doesn't, he'll still go up because people still want Patrick Mahomes. Now, will, the thing she was, I can't, I can't promise you'll come out there in Thanksgiving. So you can pick him up for now if you find a good price and hold on to him. Pineapple boys. Now, Le'Veon Bell is one that I picked up to show you guys what I'm doing. I picked him up for the most good promo anticipating he got when he did, but it was LTD, so it kind of screwed me. That's one of the ones that I kind of wish. Put my way. Um, Alvin Kamara again just got a card, so you can't really I can't really recommend him. I have a few here. Where's the ones that I want to show you guys? George Kittle got his LTD. Like that's that, just give you guys an example. LTDs are guys that will not go up in power because LTDs are so rare. Like if only a hundred people in the game have LTDs, how many of them actually power them up? How many of them are even dumb enough to power them up because they want to they want to sell them at some point? So in theory, it comes down to if they're regular cards, they will skyrocket in price, and if they're not, they will stay down. Now another guy. That is really worthwhile, in my opinion, is going to be probably Adrian Amos. He hasn't gotten a card in quite a while. I believe his theme builder is the highest his card. When he's one of the few base leads, I believe only have their theme builder. If I don't stand corrected, yeah, he only has a theme builder. So a lot of the theme builder cards have already gotten cards. If you haven't realized, that Kittle got his card, Slay got his card, um, Miles Garrett. I could be correct. I could be wrong. I would have put him here today, but after he um, assaulted Mason Rudolph last night, he might not be getting a card for quite a while, so I cannot put him in, into this list at all. Another guy that I think... Th see, the, the weird part is, how are they running the seasonal performer cards? Because Leighton Van Der Esch definitely deserves an upgrade, but he has that stupid seasonal performer card that goes up with wins. So obviously his power only goes to his 84 base lead, but the seasonal performer doesn't go into it. But then they gave Carson Wentz a limited time. So I'd have to... I mean, I'd suspect that if they're not doing that, they're not counting that because they gave Carson Wentz a limited time, they will most likely give Leighton Van Der Esch a card in the near future. I think Leighton Van Der Esch is a pretty good investment too because here's the reason, right? To show you guys his price, he goes for about 2K. Now, the way I run my scheme, I blitz off the left side or the right side, depending on how you look at the field, with Lawrence Taylor. And my left side plays in zone. Now, there are no good, like, there's no great outside zone tall linebackers in this game. Leighton Van Der Esch is 6'4. He's tall. He's going to have speed. Let me show you guys what his 84 looks like. So you guys can have a pretty idea of a good idea of his prototype when he comes out as a guy that will be very sought after. So as an 84 overall, basically, he has a 78 speed. He has, let's see, let's show his zone. They're not going to show his zone, of course, right? His zone covers 67. So when he gets his next car, like his 90, 92 overall car, whatever, he'll probably have like 86 speed, probably have like 80 zone, going to be six foot four, going to have a good hit power, going to have good stats all around. The card's going to be great. In this case, price is gonna go up a lot, and that's one of the best power-ups. Sometimes are the ones that go for 2K, because you those are the ones you could buy 100 of. You go buy 50 of those are those ones. Now, obviously, the 10K ones are a little different. Now, as you guys see, I mean, a lot of these power-ups, I believe in at some point will get cards. So, I mean, I wouldn't replicate the whole thing. Fletcher Cox obviously is due for a card at some point, and he's another guy that goes for pretty cheap. 
as you guys can see his top card is going to be the mud hero card he obviously has a mud hero card but i could i could see him right between going towards christmas so that's again a guy that i'm just holding on to because fletcher cox is going to be one of the best defensive tackles when he gets a new card i don't think he'll get one now not for the time being at least and then the rest are kind of legends i just have these from all the solos i wouldn't recommend the legends obviously it's not, not really much of an investment and i mean one thing you could do which i don't know how this will work right vic's going to get a card around christmas and it's going to be crazy i don't know what the, the going rate in this power up will be but i recommend going to play your solo and holding onto a vic power up just in the case that they come out with a crazy christmas vic card and he gets a great increase in price guys that pretty much wraps up i hope this gave you guys a good understanding of how the power up price system works. people are always wondering like, how do i know what will go up it's like if they're limited times they won't really be affected if they're popular cards they will be affected even if they're not popular cards they'll still be affected because there will be a community for them every card every player except for veteran darren sproles every player has someone that someone likes except for veteran cards and flashback cards but pretty much that pretty much wraps it up guys so hope i gave you guys a good, a good amount of players you should invest in some that i feel pretty strongly about some that i'm holding on to myself personally i have 102 power up cards obviously and hope this helped you guys out if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell boys come join the family comment down below say what's up and also if you haven't already make sure to go down below and like this video guys like i said i appreciate you guys running up the likes every time i post a video nothing nothing's crazier than seeing 5 10 15 20 the likes just piling on so make sure you guys can do that on every video it helps out tremendously the channel's growing because you guys so if you support the channel remember you guys are doing this i'm out see you guys next video peace